saw a gray Chevy Blazer with her in Whoa! Steven, do you see what's inside of him? And he's up there. Okay, we're... Uh, how's your how do we get in there now? What do they... Steven? This is it. Steven? 45 minutes for the uh, car trail. 30 minutes for the glad trail. Natural features undisturbed. Only You know where you're at. You are here. This is the trail case. This is here. I wish I could get one. Here, let me show you. This in here, hey. It's this one. I wish I could go in that. Hi. Hi, Grandma. <laughs> Hi, Grandma. Hi, <laughs> Mom. <laughs> are you on film? Huh? No. Yes, you are. Here's how you take a picture of yourself. Hit me. Peace. Watch my legs. Come. 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 Come.
it's even better on TV. Oh, there's... Oh, no, I got four of you now.
You want? Mouse. Fireflies mouse. You like that one? Stephen, which one do you like? We like that one right here. Excuse me. Excuse me.
friend, don't be a fool, because all I want from you is the doggone truth. So what did Granny say the other day when Junior put a banana peeling in the wick? Oops, she said, when she started to fall, but when she hit the floor, it wasn't oops at all. Yeah. There's one more thing I'd like to know. What did Granny do? Down on the floor. She grabbed Junior by the collar. Where did she sit? Well, she walked across the head with a backhand leg. And when he got up and headed out toward the door, she grabbed a stick of stove wood and put him back on the floor. Yeah.
stir this all in. Now the baking soda is going to change the color, texture, and it'll also change the color. Well, here it is. Jim's 18 pound batch of peanut brittle. We'd like y'all to help encourage him by saying, yum, yummy. Yum, yummy. Well, they didn't say that, Jennifer. Hey, well, they did a good job, Bill. You need to do something real special. Well, since y'all did such a great job, I'll give you all something that's very near and dear to my heart. That's free copper kettle spelling lessons. Yay! Yay. 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 They weren't too excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we just took some of the excess heat out of the top of our candy. We want it to cool. We want it to go evenly. As you can see, it's already starting to cool on the bottom. Crust that's forming. So I'm holding it up, putting that cool side in the middle so that it's real cool. Then we'll take the steel bar and pick it up, folding that cool side into the middle, hot side down. Now this is going to allow the heat to transfer through it, avoiding any hot or cold spots in our candy. Now I noticed y'all weren't too thrilled about those copper kettle scrubbing lessons. Probably because you don't know the importance of cooking your candy in copper. We cook in copper for three very important reasons. One, copper is a very good conductor of heat, which cooks your candy evenly. Cooking it evenly puts a real fine flavor into it. But our favorite reason is because copper absorbs all the calories out of your candy. <laughs> now I can leave it like this. It would freeze up. We wouldn't be making any candy. What we would have is a very unique looking doorstop or a paperweight. <laughs> divide it in half like this to make great bookends. Now we divide it in half for easier handling. Then we'll roll it out nice and thin. This is for easier eating. For folks like our mom, we've got store-bought teeth. When I roll this out, Bill's come back with our kettle for our next batch of candy. He's going to share with you folks our grandma's recipe. So you can all go home and make your own 18 pound batch of the candy. Well, you start out with four pounds of white corn syrup. You add eight pounds of sugar to a pint of water. Then you cook until it's at a roaring boil, and it has been a roaring boil. You add six pounds of raw peanuts. Then you cook to a temperature of 290 degrees to shut off your place. Add 396 grains of salt, two squeeze samples of baking soda, roll and hand stretch. Let it dry, let it cool, I'm sorry, it's already dry. And you have yourself an 18 pound batch of peanut brittle. Any questions? No questions. Boy, there's a good group. Well, as you can see, that still wasn't thin enough to be a real fine piece of candy. So I flipped it over and reversed it to the hot and cold side again. Put the hot side down, the cool side up. Heat will transfer back through the candy, allowing Still plenty of time to stretch it out nice and thin. So y'all are a very lucky group today because you just happen to be in the presence of Silver Dollar City's very famous peanut brittle stretcher, my cousin Bill. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Well, would you folks like to know how good he really is? Yeah. Well, I'm glad you asked. I, well, I hate to brag, so I guess I'm not glad to ask, but on a good day here in Silver Dollar City, and this has been a great day, except for me, I'm sorry about that, I can stretch this 18 pound batch of peanut brittle out into 25 and a half pounds. Isn't he good, folks? Yeah. Yeah. I told you you could really stretch it. Yeah. But there's a real good reason why we stretch our brittle so thin. Mom. Yep. Yeah. Our mom's a mathematical genius. She got to figuring one day, and she figured that the cleaner we stretch our brittle, the more pieces per pound we had, the more packages we fill, the more we sell, the more money we make. Yay! 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 More money than Well, we figured also that the more money we make, the
you doing? You put them in there in a different one, huh? are all those new shingles, aren't they? It's just all a new developed area. that blue tower over there. Branson. So we stayed that tower, the blue one, and then the other one, they in, and then we stayed over there. There's the tower, of the Shepherd of the Hills over there. See it? Just right at the horizon, between the tree line and the next. You stand here. See the dam over there?